Hi, welcome back to my channel, Mommy Trainee. Uh, it's been a while since I uploaded my last Trader Joe's haul for you guys. Um, this week we have not a very big haul, uh, mostly because summer is here. A lot of the times we're not home. We might not actually be prepping a lot of uh, salads for the week and, and stuff like that, and we might be away. Um, so this week we don't have a big haul, but let's see what we got right here. Okay, let's start in the front here. I have a the complete cookie. Um, they have two versions of this. One is like a regular cookie with uh, chocolate chips, and this is chocolate on chocolate. Uh, it actually tastes pretty good. And I have a one bar, and this is uh, a birthday cake flavor. Last time I think I had the glazed donut, which is actually pretty decent. Uh, so everybody's been raving about the birthday cake flavor, which is this one, so I'm kind of curious about it um more not so healthy stuff is the dark chocolate toasted sesame caramel uh well dark chocolate toasted sesame like you could stop right there and i could probably eat the whole bag and then you add in caramel um i was actually looking for it for a couple of weeks uh, since I, you know, last found out that, you know, they actually have something like this exist. Uh, but my Trader Joe's was probably like out of stock for about two, two, the, the last two times that I was there. So I'm actually quite happy to see it here this time. Um, so far, this has been our, um, I would say favorite bread. I mean, including even, uh, everything, everything bagel. This actually tastes I think better than everything bagel, which is the uh, French brioche. We there's a couple of ways that we eat it. We could make French toast out of it. Obviously, um, you know it would be a little bit more cooking. And lately, I've been sometimes I just lightly toast this. You see how like thick it is. The uh, the slices are actually they're not thin, so it's actually and, and it's very soft actually. Um, right now, it's still partially frozen when I got it, um, and. To be honest, slightly toasting it and then just eat it plain like that, uh, it probably have a lot of butter because it's like buttery right here. Uh, and they're not lying because uh, just slightly toasting it and you would actually taste a lot of the butter when you eat it like that. Or um, there was this one time I put some avocado, like making it avocado toast, it's good too. I think it, it's not the best. I mean, avocado toast, I actually like it with like a plain, uh, non-buttery bread, but this is good too. Another way of look, uh, eating it lately that I found that I really, really like is that uh, Trader Joe's has these spreads. The last one that I got was a, uh, I think it's an eggplant roasted red pepper or maybe something about eggplant uh, spread. I can't remember the name. Uh, when you just slightly toast this toast, and put some of the spread on top of it. It is so yummy, and it's so quick. It's just like a light toast. Uh, so in the morning, it's actually quite easy to make. Okay, here, this is new to me. A lot of people have been talking about this. This is the uh, uh, it's low vet. This strawberry walks into a bar. And this is the first time that I will be trying this, so I hope it's good. I have a Colombian coffee and this is the K-cup version. So it has like 12 K-cup. The last one that I got is just like a medium rose Trader Joe's coffee, also like 12 K-cups. They're okay. They're not like, you know, the best. So I'm trying to see if the Colombian coffee would taste better. Um, these are, I think, summer limited edition. <laughs> Uh, it's gone berry crazy. So they've always had the gone banana, which is chocolate covered, uh, frozen banana. And you know, you find it in the freezer aisle. And this is something that I think is seasonal. That's what they call it, seasonal. So um, instead of actually grabbing more gone banana, I actually went ahead and grabbed two gone berry crazy. And this guy right here, my son picked this out himself. It's the vanilla fudge chip ice cream and obviously uh yeah ice cream vanilla and he was actually trying to convince me when as he was sitting in a car how good vanilla ice cream should be so okay you win me over kid 
Um, so here's a bottle of kombucha. Actually, kombucha. Um, I actually bought two bottles and I already drank one on the way home. And this is the Watermelon Wonder. Um, I do have to say it tastes really good. It's very, very uh, refreshing. And you, in the past, my favorite has actually been the Trilogy, which is very fruity and uh, citrusy. So this is like, if you like citrusy drink, uh, it's very refreshing. That goes, you know, that, that's actually very good in the summer. But watermelon is actually really good too. And um, I don't see this watermelon wonder like in every store that sells uh, this uh, GTS kom kombucha. So when I saw it, I have to grab, well, two. <laughs> and come right here, I've got some really pretty flowers. This is the second time I'm grabbing these type of uh, daisies, which is yellow with a little bit of, I think uh, you could call it peach color in the center. And this is a big bunch. Last time the flower, the daisy itself, it's bigger. So I think the last bunch that I got probably have at most like four or five in that bunch. And this is, this is more, this is like seven or eight right here. There are more here in the back. And I do have to say the quality of this daisy is really good. You could actually feel, you know, how good it is. There was this one time I went into Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's to get the peonies and um, it actually didn't work out that well and it didn't bloom at all. Like the, the whole head of the flower uh, just fell onto the ground after like maybe a day, you know, coming back in and sitting in my vase. Uh, so no more. Let's go back to the daisy for now. <laughs> okay, let's move some of these stuff to the front and let's see what we have here. I've got an organic lemonade. And then I got four of these lemon sparkling water. One, two, three, four. And then let's move this in the front. And then I have this alkaline water plus electrolyte. I don't know how it tastes, but supposedly alkaline water and electrolyte it actually hydrates your body better than drinking plain water. Um, so that's why when I saw that, I'm like, well, okay, let's just give it a try. Hopefully it just tastes like water and it's not going to taste weird. But um, the reason why I grabbed so many of these drinks in the back it's because uh, we are planning to go on to a road trip. So what I am going to do is something like this, especially when you're going to be outdoor, you need to replenish your electrolyte. Uh, so I am planning to bring one of those cooler bags and maybe bring some ice and put some of these uh, water, maybe sparkling water, maybe a bottle of sparkling water and uh, some lemonade so that my kid is not going to complain like, oh yeah, I don't want to drink water. I'll give some give him some lemonade mixed with some kind of water whatever that i think it's um, probably this as long as it doesn't taste like weird water funky taste i'll probably mix the two so that he would drink during the day and when we're out let's just say if the weather is you know a little warm or maybe we're under the sun you know for a long time this would probably help rehydrate us during the day and some of these snack like this one these that's strictly for me I'm not sharing this um, it's also something that I wanted to get for our road trip so that he has like a little bit of variety in the car or when he's out there he needs to kind of replenish a little bit and he you know when you're hot you don't really want to actually eat I don't know like a burger a lunch so maybe just a little bit of knickknacks here and there. It's going to keep him, keep his energy up. And then we'll figure out what's for dinner after we are, you know, sunbathing for like a day to in uh, wherever we're going. Uh, so yeah, these are the items that I've got this time. And again, because... Um, we're not really planning to stay at home for the whole week and on the weekend there's usually some kind of activities that we're going someplace we're going so uh, i didn't really stock up on any of the normal stuff like the produce and vegetables or fruits um, so here is what we got this week i hope you enjoy this haul until next time you guys stay cool and stay safe uh, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Mommy Trainee. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.